Now we're going to talk about some uh, specific sets of, of numbers that we'll be dealing with throughout our study of sets and uh, throughout the semester. Uh, one very interesting set is called the empty set, or some people call it the null set. Uh, it is actually a set that contains nothing. Okay? It contains no elements. Okay? There is nothing that is an element of the empty set. Uh, it can be denoted in two different ways. Uh, one is using the brace notation and listing nothing inside of it. The other is using this symbol. It's like a circle with a slash through it. I personally prefer the empty set uh, to be uh, the empty set of uh, braces, but um, you know, th this is a very popular notation as well. Some people confuse it for the number zero though, which it is not. And so uh, that can be, I think, a little bit confusing. But uh, both of them work, and you'll see both of them uh, show up um, this semester in the text and on my math lab. So, uh, okay, so another set that's very common, the natural numbers we've already looked at, it's all the numbers one, two, three, and so on, increasing by one indefinitely, uh, is denoted by a capital boldface N. Uh, when we write it out, you know, if you were to print it in a textbook, it's actually like very capital and bold, and it just looks um, pretty obvious. When we write it out, it's hard to write bold letters, and so we typically use uh, two vertical lines on the left. So it would look, you know, if I was writing it out, I would write two lines and then the, the rest of the end shape, uh, something like that, okay, maybe a little neater. Um, and then, of course, a set of real numbers, which is all of your positive numbers, negative numbers, zero, all that combined, everything you would find on a number line, is denoted by a capital boldface R. Again, to write that, you would write the two lines on the left and then finish your R. Okay? Um, of course, if it's in a textbook, it just looks like a capital bold R. Okay? Um, now, we can also look at uh, some intervals of numbers, and they can be intervals of real numbers, intervals of natural numbers, uh, and so forth. So, for instance, let's say I wanted all the natural numbers between 5 and 15. I could just write them out, but it's a lengthy list, right? So, uh, the natural numbers between 5 and 15, including the endpoints, we'll say. That's 5, um, 6, 7, dot, dot, dot up to 15, okay? Um, and that's fine, uh, and that's the roster form, right? And of course, I didn't actually list them all out. I used an ellipsis to fill in the gap. Once I've established that we start at five and increase by one, I fill in the gap and then show where the ending point is, and that'd be sufficient. Um, or I could list them all off if I wanted to. Um, or I could use set builder notation. And each of these numbers is a natural number, um, and it's also between 5 and 15, inclusive of the endpoints. And so in set builder form, I might say x such that x is an element of the natural numbers, and 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 15. Okay, this would be a an appropriate set builder notation because it has all of the conditions, right? All of the x values are in the natural numbers, right? All of these are in the natural numbers, and they all fall between 5 and negative 15. In other words, 5 is less than or equal to every value in this set, and every value in this set is less than or equal to 15, okay? And when both of those are true, you have this set of numbers. And so both of these are well-defined sets, okay, or they represent, um, yeah, well-defined set of natural numbers. Uh, we could also do a subset or an interval of the real numbers, okay? Uh, let's say I wanted to look at the real numbers between 5 and 15. It would be like the interval from 5 to 15 inclusive of the endpoints. Um, on a number line, you'd be looking at everything from 5 to 15, not just the natural numbers. And so here, because they're real numbers, uh, you could denote this 
Well, you can't denote this in roster form because you can't list out all of the real numbers in any um, continuous interval. Uh, you also can't form a pattern to represent them. And so we have to resort to the uh, set builder notation, which in this case, we'd say x such that x is in the real numbers and um, and then we include our inequality to show this relationship. So we could say 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 15. Okay? And then all the x values, all the values in the set are values of x that fall in between that interval, okay, in between those endpoints. Alright, so that gives you an idea of how we would represent intervals, either natural numbers or real numbers. Um, primarily here we're going to be studying the natural numbers. Um, but you can see how you could incorporate the real numbers and other types of sets in there as well.